Hello, uh, this is Shannon Stoney, and you're looking at a photograph of the death chamber at the Walls Unit Prison in Huntsville, Texas. I'm a photographer living in Houston, Texas. My partner Tom Colbert and I got permission to study the architecture of prisons in Huntsville, Texas. In the fall of 2005 and the spring of 2006, we made trips to the Walls Unit to photograph and study the facility. All of Texas's executions happen here in this room at the Walls Unit. Prisoners who are on death row are housed at other prisons and come here to be executed. In part, this is to ensure that the guards working here at the death house, as it is known, don't have a personal relationship with the person being executed. From 1952 to 1965, the electric chair was located in this building. Since 1977, Texas law has specified that condemned prisoners must be ex executed by lethal injection. In 1982, the first person was executed by lethal injection in this room. As of March 29, 2006, 362 prisoners have been executed in this room, including Carla Faye Tucker, the first woman to be executed in Texas since the Civil War. When you are looking at this photograph, you will see on your left a mirrored glass window. Behind that window is the room where the executioner sits, the person who starts the flow of the lethal injection into the condemned person. On the right are two more windows for two separate rooms. One is the room for the victim's family to watch the execution in, and the other is for the offender's family and close friends. Beginning in 1996, family and friends of the condemned person have been allowed to witness the execution. Over the gurney, you see a microphone. The condemned person speaks his or her last words into this microphone. You can read on the Internet the transcripts of all the statements made here since 1982. Most condemned people apologize to their victim's family. Then the prisoner usually tells his own family that he loves them and hopes to see them in heaven someday. Sometimes he says a prayer, usually the Lord's Prayer. Then he says, Warden, I'm ready. In a few of the transcripts, condemned men say again that they did not commit the crime that they are being executed for.